Hey everybody and welcome to another Posh Boutique tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to share your Canva templates with your customers. So if you're selling digital items on Etsy, on your website, on social media, wherever you're selling them, where somebody can download your product, um, a lot of people have asked me, but how do I share the link with them when they purchase the product? Because there's a whole lot of tutorials out there showing you how to create a template, showing you which template link to copy, but getting the link to the customer in a professional way um, is a question that I get a lot. So I'm going to show you what I do and I'm going to show you how to create a professional looking sheet that you share with your customers when they purchase. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to show you is my template. This is what I share with my customers when they purchase a digital download, either from my Etsy shop or from my website. As soon as they make a purchase for a flyer or a logo or a whatever template, this is what they will download instantly. Thank you for your purchase. This is where you access your file. Click here and then I put my YouTube channel, which you don't have to do that. You can put whatever you want, social media, or you can just share the template and that's it. But this is what the customer gets. So I'm going to show you how to make something like this. It's very easy to do. And I'm going to show you... Um, exactly how it works and then how you can share it with your customer. So I'm going to go to the home screen of my Canva and let's just say this flyer, this is not even a finished flyer, but I'm just going to do it for tutorial sake. Okay. Um, let's just say you want to share, this is going to be the template that you're going to be selling, for example. Okay. So you're going to go to the top and you're going to grab the template link. Okay. You always want to grab where it says template link and copy. You don't want to get any other link because if you share it any other way, anybody who purchases your template, when they go in there and, and make their changes to edit it, it's going to change the same template for everybody, which you don't want. So when you copy the template link, this link will be individual to each person. So each time they go in to edit the template, it'll make their own individual copy. So always do copy template link, okay? Now I'm just gonna show you how to make a quick um, flyer. So we're just gonna go to home and you can size it however you want. Let's do square, okay? Let's just do a simple square. You can do flyer size if you have more information you want. Like mine is a little longer, like a standard flyer, because I share uh, my YouTube channel and stuff. So let's just do a quick, simple one. Let's do create blank. Okay. And let's just say you want your background to be pink. So let's just type in pink and see what comes up in the design area. And I got a lot of cute ones here. Let's just use this one. I'm going to get rid of this wording. I just want the background color for this, okay? And you're just going to go to the plus mark at the bottom and click text. And you're going to just say something like, thank you for your purchase. You can access your template here. Okay, so let's just size this down so it looks a little better. I want it to be white. And you can make the background however, if you want it glittery and girly, you can do it however you want. So like, let's, for example, let's say you just want to add a little bit of bling. Let's just type in glitter in the element area and just see what they have. So they have all kinds of cute glittery patterns. Like, I like this. Let's just say you wanted to put something like this, like up in the corners, duplicate it, you know, something simple like that. But you can get way more creative with your backgrounds and with, you know, the little things that you add. Thank you for your purchase. You can access your template here. And then I'm going to put like a button or a folder or something that would indicate a download. So let's do 
a folder. Let's do this one. And let's make it white. And then let's go back to elements and type in download. And I'll just use this arrow and I'll make that pink to match. Okay, and this is the important part. The way that we save this is going to be so that when people open up this little template here, they're going to be able to click on that arrow and go straight to the template that you're sharing. So we need to include the link that we copied into this folder. So how do we do that? We click on the arrow and you scroll over on the bottom and you click on link at the bottom. And this is where you're going to paste that link that we had earlier, the template link. You're going to paste it there and you're just going to click out. So now that link is embedded in that arrow. And what I also do is I also embed it in the folder just in case somebody doesn't click their finger right exactly on the arrow. Anywhere in that element that they click, it will take them to the link. So I embed the link on the whole thing. So we're going to do the same thing. Click the folder, go down and click link, paste the link, and now the link is embedded there, okay? Now let's say you want to add something else like your website or maybe your Instagram, your social media, whatever information you want. Let's just say you want to add your Instagram. I go to elements and type in Instagram. Okay, and go to text. And you type your Instagram name. Okay, so people can follow you. Now you can also grab the link from your Instagram, your profile link when you go to Instagram, and you can embed it also here. You would just click on that Instagram icon. You would go over to link and you would paste it here. Okay, same with the wording. You would tap on the wording. You would go over to link and you would paste it there so that they can just tap anywhere on that Instagram icon or Posh Boutique and it will take them straight to your social media. So it's interactive, okay? You can add anything here, your website, you can add extra notes, whatever you want, whatever information you want the customer to have, you would put here. So I'm keeping it simple just for this tutorial, but you can see that the possibilities really are endless and you don't have to use the square shape. You can use a regular flyer shape if you have more info. Okay, so let's just say that's it. You're sharing the link. Now this is how you're gonna save it, okay? You're gonna go up to the top and you're gonna click download. Now where it says file type in the drop down menu, you're going to choose PDF standard, not PDF print, PDF standard. Okay. It's really important that you choose PDF standard. You can leave everything else alone. You don't have to check any of those boxes. And then you're just going to click on download. Okay. So this is going to download to my phone. I'm working from my phone right now and let it do its magic. Okay. Now it's ready. So now I'm going to go over to my files and here's the PDF that we just created this is what you would share with your customers okay so let's open it up okay so this is the PDF that they will see when they make a purchase. So they're gonna open this up. Okay, thank you for your purchase, access your template here. Then they're gonna click on that little folder or that arrow with their finger, and it's going to take them to your template. And it will say a template is created by Posh or whatever your business name is, start designing now. And then they can click on use template, and it's gonna create a copy for them in Canva. And then they can go in and make edits to their heart's desire and it won't affect the original template. Okay, and that's it, that's all there is to it. They don't need a Canva Pro account. They can do a Canva, uh, a free Canva account when you share the template and that's how you share it with your customers. Now, if you're selling on Etsy or somewhere where you would need to upload, when you are creating your listing in Etsy, you would just upload that PDF file as the digital download. Okay, you're not going to upload the, the template or the link or a picture of it or anything. That You're going to upload that PDF that we just created. And so that when they make a purchase and they open up that PDF, 
they're going to follow those simple steps that we that I just showed you. So, for example, let's go over to Etsy. So you're going to create a new listing in Etsy. Okay, you're going to add your photos. You're going to come down here and add your title. You're going to add, you know, follow all these steps that you do when you create a listing in Etsy. Where it says type, you're going to click on digital. You're going to type in your description of what it, whatever it is that you're selling. You're going to come down here and fill in your tags. And where, where it says materials, I usually just put digital item. You're going to add your price, your quantity. If you're selling more than one, you can put that there. I leave personalization off because I don't collect personalized information for digital downloads. Okay, returns and exchanges. So once you go through, I'm not going to type all of that in. You guys know how to, you know, follow the instructions and just type in your description and, and go through the motions of setting up a listing here in Etsy. Then when you get down to this part here where it says digital files, buyers can download these files as soon as they complete their purchase. You're going to click on upload file. You're going to go and you're going to grab that PDF that we created just now to share with your customers. Wherever you saved it on your phone, you're going to grab it and you're going to click done. And this is the digital file PDF that we just created with the little folder and everything. Okay, so you're just going to go through the motions, the, the price, the description, the everything. And then when you're done, you're going to click publish. Okay, and what will happen is when your customers purchase this template from you, they're going to get this PDF file immediately to download and they'll be able to go to the template right away and start editing. Okay, so where it says digital files, that's where you're going to share your PDF. And then up here, you're going to type out your description of what you're selling. Oh, I'm selling a flyer. It's five by five. It's, you know, whatever your terms are for the description. And then up here is where the photos are. That's where you're going to add the actual photo of what they'll be getting. So a photo of the actual flyer that they're, you know, the one that I just showed you with the little hearts and the Valentine stuff. You're going to put a photo of that there. So that they know, oh, this is what I'm buying. This is what I can edit. And then you're, you're going to scroll down here and put the PDF where it says digital files. Once you publish your listing, it's now available for purchase as a digital download. And as soon as they purchase, they will get that PDF, open it, tap on it, and it'll go straight to your template link. Okay, so hopefully this helped you guys. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me on my email or my social media platforms. Um, all of my information is down below in the description. I have a ton of templates also that I have available. If you want to check out what I have, feel free to uh, click the link down below. And again, if you need any assistance or you get stuck, please feel free to reach out to me and I'm happy to help you guys. But this is how you share that template link with your customers in a professional way. So I hope you have fun with this. I hope it helps you in your business. Wishing you guys all the success. I hope everybody has a great weekend and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.